It's the fourth day of our Celebrity Summit Cruise. We are parked right next to Freedom of the Seas in Nassau. And we're doing something that we've never done before in Nassau. We are going to Baja Mar, which is a hotel that Carrie's been dying to go to. Um, but we're going to the water park there called Baja Bay. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I don't even know that that existed, so very cool. Yeah, I think it's a new water park. This is an official celebrity excursion. Um, we've never seen this listed on any other cruise before to do an excursion at Baja Mar. So we think this is like a unique opportunity kind yeah, of. Yeah, I've heard of people getting like a resort day pass from there before, but then you have to find your own transportation to get there and all that good stuff. But like yeah. this one is through the cruise line. So maybe they'll be offering this more in the future. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. Let's go though. Yeah. The meeting point for this excursion is in the theater. So we only have to go down two decks because we're in the forward of the ship. Carrie used to work at Hyatt and a uh, property at Hyatt. So it's not yeah. like I worked for the corporation. And um, oh, here we go. It says sure excursions this way in the theater. It's very chilly. It's very chilly. It's very chilly. In our, in our swimsuits, it's kind of chilly. But yeah, she. Um, would see pictures of Baja Mar all the time. And so because I worked for a Hyatt property, you got like Hyatt perks. And one of those perks was like discounts at Hyatt properties. And like everybody would look at Baja Mar and be like, I want to go there. And so like I've definitely seen this place in photos a lot and I'm excited that we get to go. We got off the ship uh, with our group and we're in between the summit and freedom of the seas. And we really, we didn't really do any research about what we're Because we like to be surprised. Yeah, I want to be surprised. So we don't really know what we're doing, but we, they gave us a map and- It looks really nice. It looks really cool. Um, they also gave us these two wristbands. Which are nice you know, quality. Miami Dolphins colors represent. So the one of them- Yeah, one of them gets us in and one of us gets a meal. Not one of us, yeah. one of the wristbands gets us a meal. Yeah. And, um, I didn't realize that I didn't we, know got we I didn't know we were getting a meal. I didn't know that was included. A very pleasant surprise. Yeah, but we're going on a bus now that's taking us there and then... And I'm like studying this map like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah, it looks like there's some really cool stuff. Like we have access to basically everything at the resort. And this is a very new water park, right? So yeah. like I, I have very high hopes of what this will be like. Yeah, but yeah, we're taking a bus there and then the bus is also going to pick us back up at the end of the day. Three o'clock. At three o'clock, which all aboard today is at 3.30, so. It's we're cutting be, it we're close. Gonna, gonna that's, that's a good reason why this is like part of celebrities excursion yeah. so they know that we're there now looking at the back of the summit here that glass area that's the dining room and we saw that um two nights ago when we, remember when we were looking out yeah i do and up top you can see the sunset bar which is um, oh yeah the like, like where the flag is yeah, yeah. and way up top is the movie theater oh yeah we got a great lineup of ships freedom summit conquest sky and also in order of which ship is best, <laughs> starting with freedom. <laughs> so the water park is called Baja Bay. The resort's called Baja Mar. So if Baja Mar had a comedy club, they would call it Baja Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, that's the first funny thing you ever said. Oh, okay, we just finished our bus ride. It was about a 15 minute ride to Baja Mar. Definitely not walkable. <laughs> no. We had considered doing Margaritaville because that one is walkable. Yeah. But Baja Mar is huge. Yeah, gigantic. The amount of, the amount of rooms they have, I don't, I don't even understand how they can fill it at all. I'd love to figure out like how many rooms Atlantis has and how many rooms Baja Mar has. They seem like almost equal in size. Comparable, or maybe Baja Mar has more, I don't know. Yeah, so the bus dropped us off right at the entrance here. We're gonna go in right now. Right near the entrance, we have some uh, family raft rides. And then the, the hotel is in the back there. But this one that goes up, this reminds me of Volcano Bay. Oh yeah. Oh, and here's where we can eat. So here's the food places. So this is where we're gonna get our free lunch, I guess. Yeah. And then over there, it looks like there's either a lazy river or I can't tell if it looks like an action. No, I think it's a lazy river. It looks a little bit, you know, there's some wave action. Yeah. And then there's a drop slide back there. And then these look more my style. Yeah, these look like some normal body slides. Oh, well, maybe... They have the little shoe cubbies by each thing. That's nice. Yeah. 
I actually, there's rafts here, so I think this is a raft slide too. Oh. Here's the river, the lazy river. It says Action River. Oh, it does say Action River. Wow, okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, I want to drop off my bag over here. Okay. But yeah, look how massive this hotel is. Insane. There's no way I'm getting on either of those. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a beach area with a wave pool. I think this is the wave pool down here. Yeah. So this is one of the main pools. Probably the, the wave pool, I would guess. There's no waves right now. Well... Actually, maybe it's not a wave pool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you're assuming. It's a lagoon. Okay, but there's a cool bridge over there. Yeah, it does look cool. They have this place called Umami Burger. I feel like I've had that in LA before. Oh. I don't, I don't think it's the same, like, chain, you know? Well, this is kind of a bummer. The Flowrider is closed. Bummer for you, yeah. not for me. Yeah, it looks like the Flowrider is being refurbished, I guess. But this Flowrider, I don't know if it's going to show up, but it, it's a massive Flowrider that goes all the way down there. Here, let me get a shot over here. That's the biggest Flowrider I've ever seen. It's, it's a shame that it's closed. I wish it was open. I know you do. Because it's the biggest Flowrider I've ever seen. You can definitely tell it's huge. Right next to the Flowrider, we have... Pirate's Plunge. Which is kind of like the um, oh yeah and oh no slides at Volcano Bay. It's just like that. Yeah, I can definitely handle this. I, it said on here like that there's a plunge at the end, and I was like, uh-oh, I don't know if I can handle that. But I can totally handle this. Yeah, that's cool. And in the water park area, right near the pool, is the pavilion. This is an outdoor casino. I mean, it's obviously under a roof, but it's fully open on the, in the back there. That's pretty cool, an outdoor casino. Especially if like, you know, you bring your kids here and you- Just they, gamble with them. Yeah. <laughs> no, like leave them be and then go oh. gamble. <laughs> the way you phrased that, I was like, what are you trying to get at? <laughs> oh, it is a wave pool, dear. Okay, I was right, so I get a reward. Why? Because I, I need this. Okay. Yeah, it looks really wavy. That looks nice. Yeah, it does look nice. But it is insanely hot. It's so hot. Again, it's November. It's after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So we're going to go into the Lazy River, Action River. Check that out. Okay, let's get our tubes here. Okay, this one has a hole, so I'm not getting that one. <laughs> Chili! Okay. <laughs> it's a little wavy in the Lazy River. The Action River. The Action River. It is so cold. I like how we're like in the middle of all the, these trees and plants. Yeah. It looks really nice. It's very pretty here. Yeah. We did a really nice job with this place. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to avoid the water here. Oh my god, it's so wavy up there. I lost you. You got separated. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was a good lazy river. That was really good. Yeah, now we're gonna go check out uh, this blue one. That reminds me of Volcano Bay. They all remind me of Volcano Bay. <laughs> well, I just, this place, this place is new and fresh. So is Volcano so, Bay. Yeah. So I feel like, it's the, they're similar. It's like the trendy water slides, yeah. you know? So this is a group raft wow. ride. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Hopefully we can go on it with two just people. Just, I hope so. I think group looks like maybe just two. It's not very crowded yet. Um, you know, the park did just open, but it's a lot less busy than um, AquaVenture and Atlantis. I agree. Like, so far there's not any lines for any of the slides. Yeah, it's really nice. This thing looks insane. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 that was a lot of fun. There yeah. were like two different specialty areas. There was one where you kind of like spin around and there's like water rushing at you. And then there's the second one where it like takes you up. And yeah. Down. And they're like one right after another. So it's like, ah, ah, ah. 
and there's literally no lines right now. It's everything is just a walk on. It's crazy. They're like, which one do you want to do? This one or that one? We're like, oh my god, we have options. So here's a look at the main hotel of Baja Mar, and then this is the Aqua Coaster. I'm confused about what this hotel is because that yeah. is like main Baja Mar, but then like, what is this one? Yeah, it might be an extension or something. Yeah, I want to look it up later. But then after this one, we're gonna do the Aqua Coaster one. somebody on this water coaster and by the way the beach is right over there the race though. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, we lost, but it doesn't matter. So like we got time, soaked. You would like go down it's like the coaster thing. So it would like shoot you up and then each time after it shot you up, it's like a bunch of water came yeah. into you. It was so much fun. I love this place. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use our in our wristband here to get our included lunch. And we're gonna do Sam's crispy chicken. We have a cruise line menu here. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna get the Sam's classic with yeah. a Coke. What are you gonna get? Same thing. So they do have um, a plant-based chicken sandwich with an impossible chicken uh, patty, but it's not included with our excursion ticket. So I'm gonna get the regular chicken sandwich and compare it to Two, perfect day perfect day because we don't get perfect day chicken sandwich on this cruise our little buzzer will buzz once our food is ready we got a cool table right by the lazy river there yeah i really dig it and it's the shade we were talking about like oh atlantis versus baja bay the thing about this is on, in our excursion ticket like the meal was included and the price of this excursion was $50 cheaper than Atlantis. And I might like this place better. Here's the thing though, this place doesn't have any cats. Atlantis had at least two, maybe three cats. That's it's a big plus. Would I, I pay extra for that? I don't know. For me, I, I think they're pretty equal. I don't know. So far. I think the water park is equal so far. I, this place is newer. You can kind of, you can see the age in Atlantis. A little bit. The other thing about this place is it's a lot less crowded than Atlantis. That's a big plus, but yeah. I can't say that that's going to happen every single time, yeah, that's, you know? Yeah. You never know. The Atlantis Lazy River is a notch higher than um, the Lazy River here. But to me, the Atlantis one is like painful. Like I literally like hit my butt on a rock and it hurts so bad. It's painful. Here, it's like. It's a nice action river. I didn't get hurt on it, and it's nice. And all the other water slides are like 10 times better here. I'm pro this place. I might be biased though. I used to work for Hyatt. <laughs> but I don't know, I, after this, we're gonna check out the hotel. Um, there's a Starbucks the inside. Yeah, there's a Starbucks at the hotel, so that's the main Brian reason. eyeballed somebody else who had Starbucks, <laughs> and was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, there's Starbucks. <laughs> But yeah, we have to do that. We have to check out the beach. Yeah. So we've got stuff to do still. Wow. We got fries. Oh my God, thank God. I was so like, oh my God, we didn't get fries. Okay, but here's the bummer. They didn't have Coke and I was like, okay, what else do you have? So this is Diet Coke. I think okay. that's okay. This is such an added Ooh. perk. I did not know we were gonna get this. I thought it was just gonna be. So this is like Chick-fil-A essentially. It really seems like it. So let's, let's check out this bad boy. Like, wow. Wow. This looks good. It looks good. We got the chicken, some sauce, and a pickle. You know what I really appreciate? They gave me ketchup like this. Like, yeah. I didn't have to ask for it. They just gave it to me. Oh my God. Is it good? Is it better than Coco Key? I haven't decided yet if it's better, but like, it's right there. I'll decide. Yeah, you need to take a bite. I'll be the judge. The, the sauce is really good. It's not better than Coco Key. I think it is though. It's okay, it's really nice. It's not even as good as Chick fil A. Literally, McDonald's is better. Oh my God. Brian is really wrong. But the fries were really good. The fries were like better than Chick fil A. And here's the thing I didn't like the fries that much. There was like a spice on it that was like kind of sweet and it kind of was weird. Yeah. Yeah. So we have very differing opinions. I loved the fries, Carrie hated the fries, Carrie loved the chicken, I hated the chicken. So somebody else needs to come here and tell us who's right. 
So after eating that meal, I just want to lay down at the beach, which this is, this is right outside the water park, this beach area. And they have like a beach club here. Yeah. So if you want to be fancy, like a Royals Coke. It's an extra cost. Yeah. But we couldn't find a shady spot on the beach, so we're back to the wave pool area. But by the way, What's really cool is our stateroom has excursion towels. I love that. It's just like in a room to take on excursions. It's different than like the normal pool towel or like um, bath towel. Yeah, and I mean, Bahamar does have towels, but we didn't we know didn't that ahead of time. So it's nice that we were able to bring these. Of course, we had to go out and find the Starbucks. Yeah, this hotel is insane. It's huge. It's massive. It's massive. We didn't realize it was going to be such a trek to took, find this. It took us forever to find this, but here we are. Well, look how insane this is. This is only one little corner of the hotel, and it's like a food court in a mall. This is only like one lobby of multiple Many. towers. Yeah, we so saw like different five towers. different hotels as we walked by. It yeah. was insane. What's the one that's bigger than Grande? Venti. Venti. But they have the um, the Bahamas Been There mugs. I already got that on our first cruise. I got that when we went on Adventure of the Season. We boarded in Nassau. I got that mug. Wow. I'll never forget it. Of course not. So many surprises. They have frozen strawberry acai refreshment. That's insane. You should have got that. They also have a cranberry white mocha frappuccino. I've never seen that before either. There's some interesting stuff. They have some crazy stuff here. Sugar cookie latte frappuccino. They also have a holiday turkey sandwich. With cranberry white mocha frappuccino? I've never seen that. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm sad that you didn't get the frozen strawberry refreshment. Oh, Brian's like, change your order, change your order. Because like I've never seen that, it's crazy. Hopefully someone else that loves Starbucks will appreciate these rare items. Yes. We found our way back to the beach. We, we literally got lost. It's a maze inside that hotel. Yeah. And let me tell you, while we were walking around, you know, fancy stores everywhere, also fancy people everywhere. I felt like I was the trashiest person in that hotel. We were literally trashing up the place. Yeah. We were the only people there in swimsuits. <laughs> With like towels around me yeah. and like my hair's a mess and like, yeah, it did not feel that I was in the right place. But it tells you like, you know, how much of a nice place this hotel is. Yeah. And there's a lot of people here. I was wrong. I thought it would be like empty, but no, it's 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 popping. This is a popular place. So you can kind of see like where Baja Mar is compared to like the ships. That's Atlantis so, way over yeah, there. Way over there is Atlantis. And you can just see the whale tail on Carnival. It's a tiny little thing beyond the trees. But that's where we are in relation to, uh, you know, the sh where the ships are. Yeah. So it's pretty far. We have a little gift shop here with Baja Mar stuff. They have a turbis. But which color do we get? I like the purple one. That's cool. It is cool. I think we're gonna get this. It's time for us to head back to the bus stop, which is the entrance of the park. I had a very fun day today. I think it's about on the same level as Aquaventure at Atlantis. Yeah. Would you recommend it? I would recommend this over Atlantis, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we're probably gonna get back on board, shower, and then get ready for our dinner. We have a specialty dinner tonight at Tuscan Grill. Yeah, it's Italian. I yeah. like Italian food. I'm gonna use the mirror as a selfie, a mirror selfie thing. <laughs> we got dressed for dinner after our nap. Uh, <laughs> Look where we are. Tuscan Grill. I'm very excited about this. I think this is the, the meal that I've been most excited about because look, homemade pastas. Ooh. Ooh please inquire about half size portions so oh, you can get a little cool. both. That's very interesting, but I'm like, I've been staring at this menu all day. I'm very yeah. excited. <laughs> Oh, and they project the name onto your shoes or the floor. Or I could get a tattoo. <laughs> this place is fancy. It is. It's so fancy, it makes me feel bad for filming it. There's a real flame. It's literally a, a real flame. It's not fake. And like, they don't understand how clumsy I am. I could knock this thing off easily. It's very rare to see a, an open flame on a cruise. Ship. Like, they trust me, and I don't know if they should. <laughs> For tonight's dinner time question, we have a question from 19 world underscore. This question is, what cruise line should I go on for my first cruise? The kitchen is right behind me and that's really cool. It is. There's like an open kitchen. Yeah. Okay. For anyone's first cruise, I would recommend 
specifically Oasis class on Royal Caribbean, a seven night cruise. I think you need to start with the seven nights to really get a feel of what the cruise is. That's interesting. There's so much to do, the ship won't move as much. Um, you have options to figure out what it is that you like about cruising. There's so many different activities that, you know, there's so many things to fall in love with with cruising. On That's poetic. Class. If you haven't cruised yet, Oasis class is the way to go. I find it interesting that you say seven night because I think maybe like five night would be best. That could be good, yeah. Because like, what if you don't like it? I don't think you should do three night. No, it's too short. It's too quick. And it's too much of a party. Yeah, you wouldn't get the true vibes. But yeah. I feel like five, you can like go on, see if you like it, but don't feel like trapped, like you're on it for seven nights. If you can find that on the way of bus. It, it happens sometimes. Well, occasionally. So we got the bruschetta. I thought it was like an appetizer for us to share. We can cut it in half. We will, but like, it's just one. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. And then um, this is the calamari. But we're going to share both. We are. That looks good. Oh my god, your chicken. Okay, I got the chicken parm. That is the biggest piece of chicken I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and you got the spaghetti and meatball. I did. This looks so fancy and nice. And I cannot wait to compare this to Paolo that we had a few weeks ago because I had the chicken parm at Paolo, so. I did not have spaghetti and meatballs there. If you know me, you know that I like a strawberry shortcake and I'm so excited that it was on the menu. What did you get? I got creme brulee and this has like chocolate in the middle, so that's cool. Yeah. Let me just say though. Paolo blows this place out of the water. I even think Giovanni's and Royal does too. Giovanni's is better, Paolo's way better, but it's still good. Still good. Oh, we have a custom. No, apparently they don't do them. Nope. Not even a navigator, not a, well, what's it called? A celebrity today, because we won't be on board tomorrow. Oh, that's sad. Well, we're almost back to Miami, and we're gonna drive to Orlando at 7 a.m. We're gonna get off the ship as soon as we can. And um, by the way, the blanket, we brought that, in case you're wondering what that <laughs> This is not a celebrity. I was just thinking, like, people are gonna be like, what is that on the bed? It's just a blanket we brought from home. Yeah. This was our first celebrity cruise, and does it make sense to judge a whole cruise line based off one cruise? I don't think so. It doesn't, but if I were to, <laughs> I would say... That I think we're, we're royal people, we're Disney people, but I don't know if we're celebrity people. I don't know. There, there was an aspect of fun missing, like yes. the Gus. Yeah. Um, I like royal better and Disney better than celebrity. We've only uh, done one cruise, and, but here's, here's the other thing. We just did the Disney Wish, which is a brand new ship. <laughs> And we, 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 we loved it. And then we did that a couple weeks ago, and then we got onto a ship that is 20 years old. So it's kind of a jarring experience. Thing. Yeah. And I told Brian, even going into this, like, we can't judge the entire cruise line based off of this ship. Like, yeah. the celebrity beyond, the edge, the apex, like, all those things seem like amazing. And I still think yeah. that we need to try I still, that. I still want to go on those newer celebrity ships and obviously sail with Captain Kate. Of course. I think they're just maybe a little bit further down on our list now that we've tried Celebrity and we were like, nah, I don't know. Yeah. And when we saw Freedom today in Port, I was like, I want to go on Freedom. I like Freedom. I miss Freedom. <laughs> and you know what? That's our next cruise. Wow. It's Freedom. Oh my gosh. Wow. How? What are the odds that the ship we saw in Port today is our next cruise? That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see you there. Coming up in our next video, we head back to Miami to board Freedom of the Seas.